but I've been going hard on YouTube. I really, this is something I want to stick with and I want to do full time. Like I've just been trying to come up with like good ideas for videos. I go awesome. around like, oh, I got an idea. What? Give me an idea. I need an idea. So I came up with this idea that I'm going to find a crappy old bike. I'm going to ride the crappy bike and I'm going to race her. And she's going to ride her, I don't know, it's what? You would say it's a super bike. Probably eight grand plus the power meter, carbon wheels, full carbon, everything. And obviously your game because mm. you think you can win. Yeah. Right? Obviously, I think I can give her a run for her money because I got the power. Baby. He's got the power. I've got the looks. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm excited. You excited? I'm excited. Let's do this. So I gotta find the bike first. It's a trek. Hundred dollars. Let's go get this thing. So the seller just messaged me, told me he's knocking 25 bucks off the price because it needs new grips and near new rear brake pads. Alright, let's go meet this guy. See what's going on. So this is it, it runs. Yep. Handlebar's gonna need to be replaced. The back rear right brake pad, I just noticed that's gonna need a new one. And, and then the tires. Can can we pump them up or they're flat? We believe the front one's flat. We had it in storage for probably four months. We just bought a new one. So it needs a new tube? As far as we as far as we know, we didn't really have it checked out. We just haven't been riding it. Gotcha. Sorry. Okay, I, can't, no I, can't buy, I can't buy it. It's yeah. just it's not yeah. sorry. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. That was a bust, but I got an idea. I'm going to a pawn shop, see if we can find an old bike there. But the real reason I walked away from that is the time. Like if I bought that, like I need a bike that I can get on because we're gonna race in two days. And if I get that bike, I take it to the bike shop. I'm looking at a couple weeks. I gotta find something that's rideable now so we can get this video done ASAP. Pawn shop. What do you think? You think we're gonna get a bike here? Oh, let's see what we got. I see, I see a bike out front. I see something. It's a bike. I don't see any bikes in there. We're moving on. This is turning out to be way harder than I thought. So back to the drawing board. I start looking online again. And I found find a bike for 120 bucks, there? beach cruiser that was out to me looked perfect for the video, don't you think? Yeah, it was it was really. Fun. I think we got a winner here. I think we got a winner. Hundred meters, turn right onto Formosa Boulevard. Here we are. So I'm Trevor. Um, I repair bikes as a hobby, um, and I picked this up from a family member. It was just sitting in the garage. It was rusty, piece of crap. I ended up stripping the paint, cleaning off the majority of the rust from everywhere. Um, I took all the ball bearings out, everything, re-greased everything, de-rusted, new grips, uh, new saddle, um, and it, yeah, it came out. It came out great. Honestly, I'm very happy with it. I won't take up too much of your time, man. All right. Got the money, 120, right? Yep. Okay, cool. That's the deal. We got the bike. That is perfect. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I'm so excited. This is gonna be hard. Like when I got on that thing, like I think she might actually win. So the race that we came up with is six kilometer TT. We each do it individually for time. And then right after we do a road race. It's just two of us. We can draft, we can do whatever. Race day. Here's my machine. Let's test it out. It's gonna be ridiculous. I've adjusted the saddle and I've... I've adjusted... <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. It don't sound good. I'm gonna flip a coin and whoever wins gets to decide whether they go first or second. Here we go. Call it. That's Tails. Okay, I'm going second. <laughs> I actually wanted to go first. Anyway. All right, there we go. So that works out. I had to electrical tape my K2 on there so I know what we're doing. I weigh about 73 kilos and I could probably do 380 watts for 20 minutes right now. Maybe a little more, it depends. I'm about 62 kilos and I could put 225 watts for 20 minutes right now. So here's our start line. These two posts, start, finish. And then there's a bridge down the way there. We're going to turn around it. I got a question for you. Mm. What happens if you lose? I ain't losing. Oh 
book. I'm so confident. I've got my food in my bag. I've got all my shit. Didn't take anything off my bike. Full bottles. That's how confident you are. That's, <laughs> That's why you didn't take anything off the bike. Yeah. Because you you know you're gonna win. Yeah. All right. Hit left. I'm gonna. I'm recording on the phone too. <laughs> I'm gonna count you down. Three, two, one, go. up beside her this guy's racing her look at this that's so funny these guys time to beat 1132 I think I can beat that I think I can beat it he's racing me fucking cycling man huh he's fucking racing I was happy though because I fucking took my kilometers per hour up. I pass him and then he just starts amping it up. So I amp it up. He keeps amping it up. So I stand up. He lays in. Come on. Did on. you guys say anything to each other? No. <laughs> I didn't look at him because I was fucked. I was like, what am I going to say? I can hardly breathe. That's cycling right there. How many how many people has that happened to? They've been out doing some effort and they pass someone and they just hook on. He was like on his phone doodling, right? And I pass him and all of a sudden he's fucking racing me. <laughs> okay. All right, racer, are you ready? How fast did you do it in? Oh, it was just so hard. Same time as you, 11.30. Come on. Yeah. It like <laughs> my legs up though. It's fucking crazy. Like how much it hurts your legs. I couldn't like my it. ass and like, like it was just, it's crazy how much it hurts. <laughs> it's crazy. Cra like, and the, the biggest problem is the gearing. Like I'm like spinning at 120 the whole time. <laughs> I can't believe you did it that fast. Oh, I think we can tie it. We would have to check Strava. Because I came through at like 11.30. I crossed the line. Like, I, I see like 11.29, 11.30. So I did, it's not even worth like knowing who won. But it's pretty much a tie. Like, it, I mean, basically. we... basically. Yeah. And then the problem is the turnaround. I don't know if we turn, we didn't put a cone to turn around. Like it was just a, a line, a, a line on the bridge. So we do the road race. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh. Crazy was that? That was crazy. I, I can't believe you stayed with me. That's I can't believe it. I must have been spinning at like 120 RPM, 150 at the end there. Who thinks we keep the bike? Oh my god! <laughs> you accelerated right off the gun, and immediately I was like, "Uh oh, this is bad." Yeah, I wanted to try to hurt you right away. So we did the turnaround. It was easier for me. To yeah, that killed me. The turnaround. Yeah. I have no brakes. Yeah, the me because I got the disc. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't watched our video, rim versus disc. Okay, guys, quick, quick, this is quick. 
My goal, 10,000 subs by the end of this year. If you could help us out, it would be huge. I also have another goal of getting my FTP back. I did 420 watts for 20 minutes last year. I wanna do 430 watts this year, which I think I can do. So please subscribe, come along for the ride. And we're going to Tucson and we're going to Austin. I want to, I want you guys to see you know our adventure, us going there, all that stuff, right? Right. Okay. So I think you actually had perfect timing, which is fucking the way, hilarious. The way you would have beat <laughs> me is by going ahead of me. Yeah. Right. I don't know, man, because it's like you were always there, but you couldn't. I guess but what I you're saying is you wouldn't have been able to pass me. Yeah. Like, yeah, you could hold my wheel, but you wouldn't have been able to exactly. come around because I did, wouldn't have the RPM to yeah. do it. But I just didn't know because I couldn't even believe you were still there. So I was like, no, this guy's. But that's the cycle. Like, that's like the sport of it. Yeah. Like, I knew yeah. that I needed to, like, show my dominance. Mm -hmm. Like, it, from a race tactic, not like. Mm -hmm. And when I say dominance, I mean that I need to be there. Yeah. Like, if you attack, I need to be there. Yeah. And then look back and you're like, shit, because it's demoralizing. Yeah, it it's is. like how I lost all the time mm -hmm. on the turn. It just completely lets the air out of your tires. And you're like, oh, fuck, okay, fuck it. Yeah. Where <clears throat> if I came out of that turn ahead, mm -hmm. I would have kept on the gas. Yeah. And I would have tried, I would have made you work because you weren't getting any draft back there. All right. So, yeah, I think it's a tie. I'm, I'm cool to call it a tie. Yeah. Here's the question. <laughs> what do we do with the bike? You guys tell us what I should do with the bike. Yeah. Should we come up with another challenge with the bike? Should we give the bike away? I was thinking about doing a subscriber giveaway. What do you guys think? Tell us what we should do with the bike. All right, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have two huge goals. I'm in a training camp. I'm trying to get my fitness back. I lost a lot of fitness leading up to this off season. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know about the bike. We'll catch you on the next video.